Hi everybody, thank you for joining us. We are Sacred Body Studio and my name is Fabi. So this is our last class of the pregnancy yoga course. I hope you enjoy it and I hope this is really working well for you. And remember, if you can have these 20 minutes every day, you will feel fantastic. So let's start. So we're gonna just rest in flex, relaxing in any sitting position is for you comfortable. And you can sit down on a chair as well. And remember, bring your hands on your tummy. Close your eyes. Feel the air coming in and out through your nose. Feel the lungs expand backwards. Give it a space to the lungs by expanding your back. Feel the air in and out. Inhale through your nose. Blow as you exhale. Inhale, long, two, three, four, exhale, blow in, two, three, four. Now inhale, two, three, four, exhale, like fog in, two, three, four, and in. We do this, three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Sorry, inhale and exhale through your nose with a sensation of fog in a glass, keeping your mouth closed. Remember, jai breath. We inhale for four, exhale for four. I wanted to really choose any breath because the three breaths were going to be useful for you during this period, but also when you are going to go to labor. So it's important to you know that you have the choice. Which one feels more comfortable? During this, this time, you can practice them and then you see which ones are more effective for you. So let's go this time. Inhale and exhale through your nose with a sensation of fog in a glass. Okay, so you activate your throat, which is the contraction of your epiglottis to help us to control more the speed and the amount of air. So inhale to three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and in, and out, and in, and out. As you can hear, it's like at the sound of the ocean. And again, it's just a sensation of fog in a glass, but keeping our mouth closed. Now let's practice our other breath. There are differences of these ones. Those one relax us. This one is gonna energize us. So we move arms up. Exhale, push your hands down and exhale to your mouth forcefully. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back prayer position. Remember, practice all of them and practice them more in your daily activities. You know, when you need to relax, you take the other three. When you need to ah, have a strength, you take the other one. Let's start, everybody. This time we're going to move straight on to all fours. We're going to move our shoulders around just to release the shoulder. Let's go for four. And three, and two, and one. We change the direction. We just go four, and three, two, and one. Back to center. Open your knees. Sit back on child pose with the knees open and the big toes together. As far as you feel comfy, we hold four deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back again on two all fours. Move on two. 
all fours position. Curl the toes under, lift your knees off the ground, move on to downward dog, keeping your legs bent to just concentrate your back. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Now we walk with the feet and the hands together to move the heels on the ground. Open your legs wider than your hips. Inhale and exhale. Roll up the spine all the way. Roll your shoulders backwards a couple of times. Let's go for three. And two. And one more. Drop your shoulders. Let the head drop towards to the right shoulder. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now drop the head other side. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back to center. Chin and chest. Inhale. And exhale. Raise your head. Super. Now from here we're going to move at the front of our mat. We're going to step backwards with the left foot. Mm -hmm. heel on the ground we bend the front knee to help us to stretch the back leg hands on your hips lift your chest as much as you can lift your chest and we keep the front knee bent we hold four deep breaths inhale and exhale push your feet against the ground to engage your leg muscles and your pelvic floor muscles hold more two more breaths inhale deep remember any of the three breaths we practice during the course. One more. Exhale. Now hands move onto your shoulders and gently we just twist toes to the right side, toes to the leg at the front. The front knee is bent to help us to stretch the back one. We hold four breaths. Inhale, you feel it uh, wobbling? Just press with the big toes. Let's go two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Just one more, and exhale. Release, move your hands onto your hips, shift away onto the front leg, and we swap the legs. Left leg go at the back, bend the front knee to extend the back leg. Warrior one, hands on your hips, lift your chest, press the ground with your feet, inhale deep, and exhale. And just one more. Inhale, hands onto your shoulders and twist toes to the left side four breaths inhale and exhale let's go for three and two and just one more feeling nice twist from your waist back to center move your legs together open your legs wider hands on your hips we can just go halfway curving the spine or we can go all the way dropping your fingertips on the ground bending your knees let's hold four deep breaths inhale you can extend the legs if you feel comfy or you are used to, to this position let's go three more breaths inhale deep and exhale let's go for two and just one more Move your hands on your hips, roll up the spine, move your legs together. Open your legs a little bit wider than your hips, toes pointing to the corner, arms up, remember from the godness pose, inhale, exhale, we reach, inhale, back to center, exhale, we reach, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale for three and back, other side and back, and the last in each side. Move your hands on your thigh, push your thighs backwards, lean forward. We hold four breaths. Inhale, push the ground with your feet, keep your tummy in. Let's go for two. You can curl the back if it's necessary, and just one more deep breath. Release, move your feet uh, parallel, interlace your fingers, push your arms up towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, stretch towards to the right side, and back towards the left, and back towards the right, 
arm back towards the left. Really stroke your arms, roll your shoulders backwards. Inhale and exhale forward bend. You can keep hands on the hips or the ankles or drop your fingertips on the ground. We can bend the knees to feel more comfy and we hold for four and three, two, and just one more. Inhale and exhale, roll up the spine and roll your shoulders backwards. Good. Today we're going to use the wall. Okay, so we're going to move against the wall and we're going to step backwards until we come to the table position. In case that you don't have a wall, you can do it on a chair so we can put the hands on the chair and step backwards and we're going to stretch our back. We can bend the knees and we just hold here for deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two and just one more. Now slowly raise your torso. If you have a chair, you need to walk forward to release. We come on to the standing pose. If you are against the wall, it's not it's gonna be just come here and you're gonna keep it diagonally to the wall. So here you can push your hips forward and stretch your back, the back of the legs. If you are on the chair, you won't be able to do this stretch, but what you can do is just hold here. Everybody take a deep breath and exhale. I'm gonna move myself against the wall. So hands on the wall, we step backwards, table position, the same if we have the chair, we hold for four. And three. Make sure that your heels are under your hips. One more. And here we walk with the hands upwards against the wall as far as we keep the heels on the floor and we just push the hips forward. We hold four breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Now walk with your feet forward, towards to the wall, release the hands, and roll your shoulders backwards. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Take off the chair, we won't need it. We back again onto the uh, front of the mat, as far as you can go. We go inhale, we squat, exhale all the way down, step backward right and left foot we sit in back on our heels if it's possible we can place our feet on the ground we lift our pelvis we open our chest we hold four deep breaths inhale and exhale let's go for three two just one more Release, open your knees, and we're going to child pose. Of course, this last class is a little bit more faster, but also it has more um, movements and exercises involved. So the idea is at this point, every time we take one of the poses, you feel more comfortable in the position. So you, this class, you can be your full class, or you can always come back to the other one. It's important that we have a progressive course so we can feel comfortable and secure in the poses we are practicing. Hold me here in child pose with the knees open, lift toes together, we take two more breaths, curve your back, you can move chin and chest, move to chest, chin to chest, sorry, we take two more breaths, inhale and exhale and just one more and exhale release raise your torso and we're just gonna sit down on the side we're gonna lie down on one side remember these exercises we back to the clamp and we just go inhale exhale open inhale down and open now let's go for nine eight seven Six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the leg. Flex and point. Keep holding your deep breath. And point. Let's go eight. Feel good. Seven. Release tension. Five. Keep your head down, keep your tummy in. Four, three, two, and last. Let's kick forward. Inhale, exhale, kick. Toes pointing at the, as we back. Let's go nine, seven, eight, sorry, <laughs> seven, six. Three, two, and last one. And your legs, push your body up. We stretch towards to the legs if it's comfy to move the arm. If not, you can keep it on the floor. We hold for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three and have that mini release when you inhale, and exhale, go. No all full, remember that you stretch less than your normal range and release everybody. Let's move to the other side, swing the legs. Lie down on your elbow and let's go. Knees aligned with the hip, first we go the clamp. Open, inhale, close. Exhale, open. Let's go for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your leg, flex, and point. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale forward, and we go nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your leg, raise your torso. We stretch towards the legs, move the arm, we hold four deep breaths. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale, let's go two, and just one more. We release, we move back onto all fours. From all fours, move your right hand behind your head. We twist towards to the right side, we hold two deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, and just one more. And exhale, drop your hand, change left hand behind the head, twist towards to the left side, two breaths, inhale, and exhale, one more, and exhale, release, we go on to downward dog, you can keep it in downward dog with your arms straight, or if you feel more comfy, with your elbows on the ground, whatever of the two, okay? We hold here for four breaths, inhale, placing your arms or your hands on the ground. Let's go for the three, two, just one more. Drop your lips, open your knees wider, big toes together, sitting back, child pose. We hold here four deep breaths, inhale, 
and exit. Let's go for three, two, and one. And release. Raise your torso. Take your cautions to sit down comfy, comfy, comfy. And relax. How did you get on with the mudra? It's been working for you. It's been working for you, the visualization of the magnetic field, the mantra. It's been working for you, the breathing exercises. Let me know in the comments. So here, hands on your tummy, everybody. Close your eyes. Any breath, you feel more comfy. Counting, inhalation in four, exhalation in four. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, and then relax your back, relax. Feel the expansion of the back to allow the lungs to expand backwards. Feel your heartbeat. And be aware of the amazing you are and the magical moment you are now. You are making a face. And that feels magic. You are fantastic. Visualize your magnetic field full of white energy. All the energy around you. And feel how from the top of the head is showering that energy all the way until you feel covering you all. With this energy full of health, strength, love, harmony. And we repeat our mantra. We are safe. And remember that this mantra is for you and your baby. We are safe. We are in peace. We are in harmony. We are healthy. And any time during the day, take a couple of breaths, close your eyes, repeat this visualization, and repeat this mantra as many times as you need during the day. Slowly open your eyes, move your hands into prayer position, inhale arms up, exhale arms down, inhale. Ah, just one more. Inhale and exhale. Hands back, pray position. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. We wish you all the best in this process. And remember, just keep connecting with your baby. No matter what, the most important now is you and your baby. Pay time for you and your baby, just the two of you, alone, or the three, or maybe the four of you, alone, connecting, breathing together, loving each other. Namaste.